Hello, this is Matt on the Moon Lambeau channel, and XRP holders are finally being rewarded. Now, look, I know today is a day of cooling down for the price action of XRP, as the best cryptocurrency on the planet has taken center stage, rallying hundreds of percentage points. And of course, I'm speaking of none other than Dogecoin, the best cryptocurrency on all the planet. I mean, there's an argument to be made that perhaps Ethereum Classic uh, is, is the very best. Some people might say that because it's only been 51% attacked successfully a few times, uh, which makes it very appealing. So there's an argument to be made. I, I could see that too. But uh, XRP, there's, I'm going to share with you opinions from a number of analysts in this video, but uh, there's, there's one analyst that says, hey, it's time to start targeting uh, perhaps $2.54 here in the short term. Now, as far as where the whole market's going, I, I want to I wanna share with you a comparison that's being made about the price action of Dogecoin and XRP, which I actually think is valid. And in a nutshell, the reason the market moves in tandem. But you, you got to see a couple charts here. Um, I do want to be clear at the outset, though. I don't have a financial background of any kind. I am not offering financial advice, and you should not buy or sell anything because of anything that I say or write. I'm just an enthusiast who makes YouTube videos as a fun hobby. And uh, that's uh, that's all that this is. As I record, this XRP is at one dollar and seventy six cents. Bitcoin is at sixty two thousand dollars. Market cap for the asset class just a hair over two point three trillion dollars. And Bitcoin dominance, oh yes, continuing to decline at fifty point two three percent. Well, what can you say? Altcoins are absolutely killing it here. Um, and then, oh, Spark Token IOU. Let me mention this too. It is, as I record this, at $2.05, and we've got a little bit of an update. I'll be brief on this. If there's more information, I'll talk about it in a future video. But uh, Flare Networks, who will be releasing the Spark token, they talked a little bit about uh, release, uh, a, um, a release timeline here. And uh, Martin Valk, XRP community member, tagged me along with some others, which is how I came across this. So, Martin, thank you very much for bringing this to my attention. I do appreciate it. And here's what Flare Network said. The Spark token distribution will start when the Flare network goes live. The team is working to make this happen safely as soon as possible. It is dependent on finishing security testing. We expect this at the end of June, plus or minus two to four weeks. So it'll be here before you know it. Um, here's a tweet from Crypto Bull 2020 that I wanted to share with you, considering we've had a massive rally recently with XRP. And fine, today's you know, trading sideways a bit, a little bit down at times. And so I wanted to share this with you because <laughs> it resonated with me. Crypto Bull 2020 wrote the following. Welcome to alt season, a time period flooded with new retail investors who believe something is seriously wrong when XRP cools down for three days after rising 300%. <laughs> it's true. This is the way we talk about short-term mindset. Uh, and so my fellow XRP YouTuber, the blockchain backer, wrote, I know, in response to that. 223% plus in 11 days, down 12% in just two days. <laughs> and here's the chart. Uh, it's, this is just how humans behave, so it's worth being aware that this is what's going on. It's the emotional buying and selling. It's not based on fundamentals, which is why when I see the, the price do this, as long as I know nothing's changed about the fundamentals regarding uh, XRP and the developers building on top of the ledger, including Ripple, well, what the hell do I care? That doesn't say anything a lot about the long-term viability. It doesn't say anything about necessarily about what, what we're going to see this price uh, in terms of price action, this market cycle. But looking historically at what has happened during bull markets, knowing the market moves in tandem, that is what gets me excited because it's not like XRP is moving in a vacuum. And for me, there's, there, there isn't some big question, oh, but is XRP going to participate? The answer is yes. If it is a cryptocurrency, it is participating, right? At least the large and mid cap coins. I don't know for sure if there are any small cap coins that would be outliers that actually don't. I haven't thoroughly gone through that, but I have gone through literally every single large and mid cap coin and last market cycle, every single one of them took off and humans are behaving with the same silliness this market cycle. So I just don't give a damn. Whatever the timeline is going to be, I'm going to be Mr. Patient. But we've seen headlines like this today from Decrypt. Dogecoin spikes by 225% to become fifth biggest crypto by market cap. Oh, yes, indeed. <laughs> it really is. Uh, <laughs> take a look at this. As I record, XRP is number three in market cap. Great to see it back up there. But, um, and Dogecoin, it actually did just drop down before I hit record, though. It was a number five, so it, it just happened to drop down to that. But, but look, USDT and ADA, they're above by like a billion dollars. 
Dogecoin now at $45 billion. The fact that it's even in the top 10, though, that is freaking absurd. And take a, take a look at this. Um, here's the Doge chart. It is up in the last 12... What do I have pulled up here? Uh, well, I got the all-time chart, but it doesn't matter. Here's in, in the last 12 months, Dogecoin is up. Get ready for this. 17,221%. How is this real life? Well, the reason it's real life is, is because this is crypto. And so you might be wondering, how is this possible? Well, Dogecoin, especially if you go back a year ago, way more illiquid than today. Substantially less liquid than just about any other cryptocurrency out there. I mean, it, it may be very well known even a year ago, fine, but there was almost no money on it compared to where it is today. And so it's easier to get this multiplier effect where you see like 17,000%. It's the same reason that last market cycle, XRP went from whatever it was, roughly half a penny to almost four bucks. And whatever the percentage was, I think it was like 70,000 or 80,000 percent gain from the low point to the high point. It's conceptually the same thing here. And so um, um, the blockchain backer also wrote this. While XRP is having a cooling off day, it's pretty crazy day in the market. Doge is kind of overshadowing that Bitcoin Cash is up 31%, Ethereum Classic is up 37%, and Dash is up 18%. And so, look, these these cryptocurrencies, like, I'm not convinced of the long-term viability of them, especially like Ethereum Classic. I, I, but here you go, the market moves in 10, people don't care. There's a reason I've been purchasing all sorts of, sorts of coins this year, that I don't believe in, in terms of long-term viability. I'm just counting on humans behaving the same way they have last market cycle. That's pretty well it. That's all I'm counting on here. Somebody named Mike, Mikey Stanley wrote, um, if Doge can do it, surely XRP can, and shared this chart. So this is the Dogecoin chart, and you can see it is absolutely just rocketed in terms of price action. And then you've got this chart, which is the XRP chart, which looks strikingly similar. And so, it, it's, it's not surprising to see. I, I've mentioned this so many times. Like, people start paying attention to this concept if you've not yet done so. The market really moves in tandem, not down to the second, the minute, the hour, the day, the week, the month, so on and so forth. But if you zoom out on a chart and you have sufficient data, you can see with your own human eyeballs that it really does look the same. And so for me, it's not a question of is XRP going to go, but it's more like how high. And so you see what, what Dogecoin has done here, rocketing up to that degree. Is it really wacky to think that XRP could be seeing some really, really, really high prices relative even to its previous all-time high of almost four bucks? Credible Crypto thinks it's possible, and he retweeted that and wrote, "Credible." he wrote, I'm sorry, uh, it's plain to see you can't stop XRP, which is a good thing to tweet because everyone likes a good rhyme. And, um, and, and so somebody named UK Crypto and Stocks responded to that on Twitter and wrote, LOL, how is it plain? He literally just drew an arrow based off uh, based off a chart from an unrelated coin, question mark. Although I do agree, XRP is unstoppable. Credible Crypto wrote back. Consolidation precedes expansion. XRP has just begun expansion after a long period of consolidation. Doge is just a step ahead. And I've been highlighting that point on this channel for some time as well. The longer a cryptocurrency um, trades sideways and consolidates, the greater the blast off. And Credible Crypto has done a great job of prom promoting and sharing that idea as well. It's not true just of XRP, but certainly it's important relative to XRP because that's how it behaves historically. It trades sideways longer than many other large cap coins, even though it files in tandem. It, it, you still need, That's why you need to zoom out to see it. Um, and then there was this tweet from XRP community member Robert Art, who tagged Credible Crypto and wrote the following. Credible Crypto, bro. When will XRP stop bleeding? I don't want to fire my butler. Only just hired him at $1.70. <laughs> so, so you can see Robert Art's already splurging based on the recent positive price action. <laughs> Credible Crypto responded and wrote, It will be over before you know it, my little Bertolini. And then somebody named Boom responded with the following to that. Honestly, just don't see how you get 10 to $30. And because that is what Credible Crypto, along with many others, frankly, has been calling for. Uh, XRP to get to somewhere in that range, 10 to $30. Credible Crypto does think it's more likely it'd be more like 20 to $30, but he said minimum 10 bucks this market cycle. So then this guy asked, how Credible Crypto, is it even possible? Don't own any and don't want any, just intrigued. And then to Credible Crypto responded to with a question, uh, do you think Ethereum could go to 8,000 to $10,000 this bull run? 
And, um, and I don't know if it will. Uh, th that wouldn't surprise me if it did. But in terms of market cap, uh, you, know, you know, that would... That, if, they, if ETH does that, yeah, if, if, and then and XRP does the same thing, it's going to be about the same in terms of market cap. And, it, and if it does that, Bitcoin's probably going to be twice that in terms of market cap. You're going to have potentially trillions more in terms of market cap for the crypto asset class. You know, it, it could be substantial. I don't know if that means the, the class goes to five trillion this market cycle or 10. I'm not going to pretend to know, but suffice it to say, quite a bit higher than where it is now because alt season's still just heating up as far as I'm concerned here. But it doesn't take that much. Here's what you need to know. It doesn't take that much money flowing in to get these big market caps because the market cap is not an indication of how much money has flowed in. It, a market cap is just the current market price times the circulating supply. That's the way it's calculated in the world of crypto, not an indication of how much money's flowed in. And so in terms of how much money would have to flow in to get that to happen, uh, what you're probably in the single digit percentage points of whatever that market cap figure is, it'd be almost nothing, relatively. And so, yeah, that, that's absolutely how you get these these crazy numbers here. And most people don't understand that. They really think market cap is how much money actually went into it, and that is not the case. Uh, absolutely not, not even close. Now, uh, I want to highlight a point here. It has to do with the the idea of long-term holding, because look, the, the people that have been holding XRP for the long haul, they've been rewarded to this point. Even with uh, trading sideways a few days now, you've been rewarded. I mean, if you're one of the people that bought at you know, 11 cents or 20 cents or 30 or 40 or 50 cents, whatever, anywhere, even if you bought it 60 cents, whatever, even a little higher than that, you've been rewarded to this point. Um, and so there's this thread, I'm not going to read this thread, but it had to do with a different cryptocurrency called HBAR. And, um, and somebody's concerned about the price action of their HBAR. And this is, a, this is, um, and this is not to, you know, be, I, I'm just using this as an example. There's nothing nothing against this person, individual. It, it could be any person. There's so many people that behave like this. It's actually a very normal emotional response, but I want to highlight this and make people aware that this is the type of feeling emotionally that if you act on, you might get wrecked. And so I'm not telling you to buy or sell anything. I'm just trying to make you aware of human psychology and how it gets people completely financially destroyed investing in crypto, which is the most volatile and risky asset class on the entire planet. And so this person wrote, hey, Credible Crypto, I am pulling my hair out with the HBAR dumps that keep happening back to 37 cents now. Is this normal or time to get out the trade? Thanks, bro. And so think about what I was saying just a few minutes ago. The, the volatility is not an indication of whether or not a project is going to succeed or fail. It's just people like run around like chickens with their heads chopped off. They don't know what the hell they're doing. Like, oh, here's the, here's the, take the money, take the money. Oh, wait, it's going down, take, I want my money back. And it's, it's just, it's complete nonsense, complete madness. It does not make sense. It is not logical. It's complete irrationality. And it's just going to get worse as the euphoria stage of this bull cycle kicks in. And so Credible Crypto responded and wrote the following. Brother, you need to zoom out and stop focusing on the low time frames. Nothing is happening. We are literally going sideways. Watch my latest video I shared yesterday on my feed. And so for people that don't get that, you're going to be right. And so I see people like this who have barely been in a position for a cryptocurrency for like more than a few days or a week. I see that they're emotionally like freaking out. And then for fun, and this is why I wish I could sit down with this guy and just be like, let me give you a little story of what I've been through. Because I've been holding XRP and have never sold a single XRP from November, uh, November 2017 until today. Never sold a single one. And I wrote it from 20 something cents to almost $4.00 back down to 11 cents, back up to 80 cents, back on down to 17 cents, back up to where it is today. And there were a lot of other jostillations in between. That's just to get you an idea. And so my bet is whether or not we are going to see an all-time high ever again. My bet is still yes. And so all the noise that happens in between, I don't care because I don't know when that's going to happen. I don't know when the, you know, the, the useful idiots that are causing the volatility are, are, are going to make the price go down or up. I, I just have confidence that over the long haul, they're going to bid the price up. And so the only way that I can be sure that I have the proper exposure when that happens, assuming it does, and I believe it will, the only way I can be sure that I have my exposure is by not is by not selling. That's it. That's the only part of this that I can control, really. That's it. And so that's why even if I think, because there's been all sorts of times over the last three plus years I've been holding XRP where I was confident that XRP was going to go down. And a lot of the time, most of the time, perhaps I was right. And it was, it was like, oh, yeah, it's probably going to continue to go down, whatever. But that doesn't mean I'm going to act on it because if I'm wrong, that's how I get wrecked. The one time I'm wrong and then it takes off thousands of percent and I don't catch it. Nope. Well, that's the, that's the end of my experiment. <laughs> you know, it's like I just, I, 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 so I control what I can control and I don't worry about not being able to buy the bottom. I'm also not going to be wor worried about the fact that I'm not going to be able to sell the top because I don't know when that's going to happen. 
It, it just doesn't make sense. And here's a tweet from somebody named Jeff Lebowski Esquire, who wrote Credible Crypto and also said, um, I was on XRP train back in November 2020, but lost patience and now regret. Not making same error now. Already holding quite heavy H bar bag and will be will only be adding if it goes below 30 cents. Thank you. Incredible Crypto wrote back, no problem, let's get it H bar. And so this is an example of a person, and this is not to pick on this person. That's not why I'm doing this. I'm just sharing with you. There are like, I don't even know how many people that are participating in crypto right now. Is it hundreds of thousands, millions, however many people it is on the planet? Like this is what they're doing. And so I'm deciding to not do that. That is the decision that I made years ago. I'm not acting like that. Acting like this is what gets you wrecked. This guy got wrecked. He could have had, and this is not to pick on him. It's, it's nothing against him. This is a normal human behavior. It's just not desirable. So uh, especially if you just understand that the market moves in tandem, and that's why I've been saying, if you're wondering if a crypto that you hold is going to go up, if it hasn't done it yet, I mean, like, if, if it's a crypto, uh, this is not financial advice, but I believe the answer is yes, in particular, if it's a larger mid cap coin. So from, I'm just going to sit here and be patient. It just does not matter to me. Um, and then here's Leb Crypto who wrote to the following. Uh, fantastic reversal from the lows I called earlier today. And so, yeah, indeed, XRP was a bit lower than it is right now. And he wrote, need price to reclaim yellow resistance block over the coming 8 to 12 hours, lest XRP just be printing a lower high on the 4-hour chart. And so the yellow block he's got up here, it looks like it's a little below a buck 80. I don't know if this would be like a buck 75. Uh, buck 78 somewhere around there and so that's about where xrp is right now it's it's currently as i record this anyway uh in that range and as i record this it's 9 21 p.m on uh on friday the 16th that would be central standard time in the good old united states here all right um where's i next uh oh yeah there's this too so <laughs> uh where are we going uh, up right <laughs> i still don't know when this is gonna take off but this is um an article from a coin telegraph writer and chart analyst rakesh oop day and um i'm not gonna read through the whole analysis but he says look if we, if we get back up to that level break above a buck 96 which is a major resistance level there's not much resistance level above that from what i've gathered from analysts um he, he thinks that two dollars and 54 cents is is it within the realm of possibility so lots of good stuff to look forward to ahead and so, look, if Doge can do what it's doing, you think XRP's not. And at least we've had XRP jump up to where it is now. So I, I think that shut up a lot of people. A lot of people are like, XRP's not participating in this bull market cycle. It's, it's, it's back. I'll take it off. Well, but clearly that's not true now. Uh, I think that's provably so. So just wait. It's not done, though. So who knows where XRP's going to go. Won't be surprised if it does go to 10 or 20 or 30 bucks. I'm not predicting that. I don't know if it will. But if that does happen, I'll be thrilled and not surprised. I'm not a financial advisor. Do not buy or sell anything because of anything that I say or write. That would be a very, very, very bad idea. Until next time, to the moon, Lambo.